Hi, my name is Sergey, and I am glad to see you at that course. So, let's start our common little trip. At the beginning I propose to understand what exactly we are going to perform from a higher perspective. We will start from creating a very small API application. For that purpose I will use the Python programming language and a Flask framework. If you are not aware of current technologies, don't worry, you should not. Believe me, the application would be extremely simple, so anyone, even a child, can understand how it works. While creating a coding application, I will concentrate on next essential aspects – custom exceptions and login. I will explain why it is so essential to have those both things at any application and how to make it properly in order it would be helpful from security defense perspective. The principles which I will show you are extremely simple and can be easily propagated at any existing web application. You will see the real power of properly done exceptions and login at your own eyes when we will make real hackers attack simulations at our application after deploying it at AWS Cloud. Generally speaking, deploying it is second essential part of our learning. Together we will deploy our test API application at AWS using Terraform. And again, if you have never used current technology, don't worry. I will show you step by step how to run a code in Terraform scripts. Here is a small architecture scheme that will help us in realization of that goal. At first we will prepare the AWS network. After that we will configure root 53 and SSL certificate for our application. Then we will deploy AWS application load balancer with WAP application firewall. And finally, at the last step, we will deploy our application at SE2 using auto-scaling group. Current pattern of deployment can be easily used by you at production as it is rather cost-effective and almost a high available solution. Though, as every solution, it also has some limitations, which I will discover during Terraform lectures. The deploy Flask application and all AWS infrastructure around it would be intensively used as a lab environment for imitating different hackers' attacks and providing a cybersecurity learning process. That will allow you to perform real practice training and try different security tools and tricks with your own hands. That is why, as for me, it is so essential to have it to be done. In the third section we will speak about AWS WAF, Web Application Firewall. I will show you some examples of real attacks that were blocked by WAF taken from my commercial experience in order you could feel the real power of WAF as a security defense tool. We will discuss in details what resource can be attached at WAF like ALB, API Gateway or CloudFront, how properly to configure it, why correct configuration of AWS WAF is so time-consuming process, how to set up AWS WAF managed rules and custom blocking policies, how to analyze WAF and application load balancer logs using Asina, and why WAF is not a silver bullet that can protect web application against all possible threats. At fourth section we will discuss deeply AWS CloudWatch service, especially how to use our application logs as security detector how to build custom CloudWatch filters, how to raise alerts in case web application is under the hacker's attack, how you can be aware of attack even before WAF will detect it or when WAF could not deal with the problem. In the fifth part we will speak about cyber threat analysis using Asina and Excel after or during hacker's attack. We will discuss how to gather all required data using Asina and how to verify if the hacker's actions had any success. At the last section, we will make a short summary of, of all past practice materials by creating effective security defense framework that can be used at any cloud or even at on-premise solutions. That's all. See you at the first section where we will start to examine test API application. Hope to see you soon.